perhaps brief and say that I never thought the day would come when to such a richly profound question, what does marriage mean to me, I would have a pat answer. <laughs> are choosing to work together and uh, meet what comes up. I look forward to was that it seemed that in Japan when you got to be a certain age you became venerable. And when you became venerable you could give advice. <laughs> and I just got my Medicare card the other day. So I <laughs> And while many people were just thrilled with the survival of these wee infants, my parents were rejoicing the fact that I was only one. <laughs> and I grew very fond of these little girls. A very brief excerpt uh, from a book review, which um, I like to think is not only addressed to the two of you, but also to Sarah. And uh, the book is a book called Realize Your Dream. So I have no experience about marriage. And I know lots of people who are married. And the relationships that they have vary enormously. Healing can occur. And self can recede. And your love for each other becomes a touchstone for a loving way, with, a loving way of being in the world, too. too. Play the clarinet at the wedding, and uh, I immediately thought that I would like to do something very dramatic. And I transcribed Beethoven's Ninth Symphony for solo clarinet. <laughs> and I worked diligently on this and came uh, to town. And Betsy said, I do not think they will sit still for an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, Betsy, 
Take Mark to be your husband, to love and to learn of love, in happiness and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, for better or for worse, till death do you part. I do. You bring your We now send this prayer with Mark and Betsy and Sarah as they continue their life together. May they share a love that teaches them to love themselves. May they have a home that is happy and warm. May they share with each other their gifts. And finally, may they follow the path of their hearts where it leads them, not forgetting the grace of solitude. Amen.